investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, folks, Basil Chapman here. Yeah, this is the Tiger Technician's Hour on this uh, Wednesday, the 13th of March. We're looking at the Dow up almost 100 points at 39,103. Fascinating. Why? <clears throat> because within the context of everything that's going on, there's an independence. Every day there's been an independence of one of the markets. Sometimes, like yesterday, out of the blue, they, they had pullbacks and then they all ran up together. <clears throat> what we're looking at today is the Dow is um, up quite strongly, up 100, and, uh, 100 points. The S&P pulled back quite sharply. But sharply, only in the sense in relation to the Dow being up 100 points, S&P is down 7.2 at 51.68. Absolutely like not even an eye blink in the general uh, pattern that we're looking at of rising highs and rising lows. Getting into this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone once again. This is a leg B. We've got all of, we've got two and a half sessions to go for the, S&P to go to 5189.29, one penny above last week's high to continue this leg B to the upside. Or will it fail? That's a fascinating thing we're looking at right now because the technicals, uh, certainly the weekly uh, chart is very strong. The 9 over the 14 period moving average in the, in the daily chart is extremely strong. The stochastic is um, at 75% weakening a little bit on balance volume. <clears throat> is weakening. It's just pulling a little bit off the uh, previous high. The MACD is flat and now a little bit negative. <clears throat> the, this, this is the daily chart. This gray line is the relative strength index. Uh, it's good. It's not great, but it, it's, it's good. Uh, so we're watching this very closely. Now, what I'm going to be doing, let me just slide this across. Yeah, I, always, I love this because it's got this picture of me from way back. I think this was taken just before I was going to go on stage for a concert where I was conducting my chamber wind group uh, way back when I was a professional musician. Uh, so let's just look at this. Um, this is what I'm going to be doing on March the 19th at 4 p.m. <clears throat> as, as we're getting into the next few sessions, I'm going to be modifying what I want to do. But basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to look at on Tuesday, March the 19th, 4 o'clock to 5.30 p.m. The technical, it's a 90-minute uh, subscriber webinar. You can become a subscriber. It's got a money-back guarantee. You can go to this, uh, the webinar, I, and you can then archive, go through all my archives, and then you can say, hey, I'm done. That's fine, because education is what we're all about. But most importantly, I want to talk about the technical tools needed for the coming few months. And I, I'm going to go into that just in a moment. I'll give you a brief synopsis. But... Um, and it's archived. It'll be archived. You can't make it 4 o'clock to 5.30 on Tuesday. It'll be archived. You can see it <clears throat> the next day. Usually it's online. I'll be talking, obviously, about the critical 9.14 period moving average. Very, very important. Um, since November the 3rd, the daily chart of all the indices have had, I believe, n not more than one session going negative. Otherwise, it's kept you in the trade all the way through. Uh, and in fact, some of them, it hasn't even gone negative. And that's just a fantastic single tool, one tool. Um, the weekly Chapman Wave buy mode. And I'm talking about that because in the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always looking for at least a peak D, four higher peaks, a minimum in a buy mode. And we're still to see that in some of the, in, in the weekly indices. Um, deciphering the rare flood of round numbers unfolding in this market. I don't really want to go through all of those today. I've just seen, I, I mean, it's, I've never seen this many in all sectors. It was before it was just in tech and a lot in the uh, semiconductors. Now it's everywhere. 
uh, sector rotation. That's really important. One of the reasons why we waited for a very sharp pullback and one of the gold stocks that we, we really fancied and talked about for quite some time now is because it appears that the dollar is going to have a tough time yet. Yes, it could rally, but I don't think it's quite as strong as it was on the, on the previous big move up. We're going to be watching it closely, but in this rotation, Money is sort of going into materials. We're looking at crude oil. There's certain sectors now in the crude oil that I think are going to be quite favorable for a little while. Just there's a lot going on. So that's going to be what I'm also looking at particular stocks. But I'm also going to have live question and answer and throughout the webinar. And this is what I'm now focusing on more and more as I'm trying to prepare for this webinar on Tuesday. Well, I've already started preparing. I want to do notation, chapter wave notation, not just the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I want to do the cup formation, the symmetry, left side, right side, bar, time match. Uh, there are so many aspects that I want to. It's an educational one because I do that. For instance, on Saturday, I did an hour and a half, almost like a webinar uh, on Saturday for subscribers, talking about all these different aspects. But yeah, we're coming closer to the end of the month. And I can start talking about March going into April, and that's going to be very important. So with that said, I see uh, I still see residual strength right now. Let's just get out of this. Move it away. Okay, right there. All right, it's out of the way. There it is. Now, a couple of things that we're looking at here. The S&P has come back in reverse, only down four. It's trying to tackle that pink line. That's the chapter we've inside. I'll be talking about these things. Look. I drew this in ages ago. You see this uptrend line, and then I put in a little parallel one, green if it breaks to the upside, pink if it stalls within the pink and the green. That's called the chapter wave inside track. Uh, propellant zone, this is, sorry, repellent zone. At the bottom, you had the propellant zone. Um, if you look at the Q, 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 it's the same thing. Where did I type that? Oh, I typed it in the wrong place. I don't know where that went. All right, Q, 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 there it is. Now you've got something that is, arching over so this is the pattern that we need to look for it can fail in other words this can break to the upside but right now the pattern that i'm looking at is a potential for the cues to roll over but there's no sign yet that they're actually doing that that's just an image that i'm putting in to say this is the pattern that we would be looking for if there was a sudden failure and the qqq is trading at 440 suddenly trade down to 436 435 right look they, the nine period moving average is walking the nine period moving average. Look at the IWM. Um, fails, 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 and then all of a sudden, nice big candle, 150 up, 153 at 206.44. I suspect I know why this is moving, and this confirms I said to subscribers this morning, I had in my opening paragraph, I said, uh, we are looking, we are watching closely um, two particular, uh, three particular stocks. And um, did I put that one in? Or did I just blip it out? Oh, my. Oh, oh, I had it. I, I thought I had it. I have it for tomorrow, but I don't have it today. Anyway, and that those two particular stocks that I had in mind have both blipped to the upside. That's the sector rotation that I'm looking at. So even if there is a pretty decent pullback coming soon, I'm really watching to see. Do the small caps at Russell 2000, do they start to move? They, they are showing... Pretty good relative strength, and the weekly chart has gone to D. That's that fourth highest peak. That's where you've got to be a bit careful. But so far, the technicals are holding really well. Let's just do this real quickly. I want to go to gold. Uh, gold is up $4 at 21.70. Um, Pretty good. But uh, I'll be back in a moment. Dow's up 116. S&P's down 6. That's a chapter pack of professions. Hour. I'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So gold is up five at 2171 Basel Chapman. Yeah, Tiger Denition's now looking at the uh, silver. Silver is now up quite nicely, actually. It's up 21 cents at 2460. So uh, just let me go back. I had a question I almost forgot to answer. Yes. So this is a, basically it looks like a single leg A to the upside. That's a pattern that we saw yesterday in the futures and they gave back uh, that entire rally. I call it the Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down. But this is really important. Look at the technicals. The 9 is way over the 14. The MACD is very strong. Um, yes, the histogram, the little vertical lines are starting to diminish a little bit. But look at the distance. It takes so, so much for this to go negative. Um, and the 9 to go under the 14 period moving average in the daily chart, you'd have to see 2130. 21, 21, no, you'd probably have to see 2100 sharply under it. I just don't see that right now. Um, and look at the stochastic at 88% on balance volume was a little bit overbought. Now it's, now it's pulled back a little bit. And the weekly chart is starting to improve. The stochastic is still terrible at 59%. Uh, at um, all the other ind indices are quite good. And look, it's getting back into the uh, inside. Oh, I needed to change that. I wanted to change it. Yes, I'll do it right now. So I like to have exactly on the edge of the candle hit to start off always. So that would be there. And that would say that on a purely technical basis, we've taken out. Uh, let me move this up a little bit. Right, we've taken. There it is. We've just barely taken out on a monthly basis. Monthly is still young. The resistance, Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. This is the gold contract itself. But look at this GLD. GLD is in a leg C, way above the one, not way above, but above the 194.45 high that was made back in, say, August of 2020. 
that's really important in this cup, uh, double cup formation. And just make it one cup. Let's just do that. Put it down there and move it to the right. Uh, oh, that's already done. Okay, so within this context, you're looking at a pattern that says basically a, a ragged but a cup formation breaking on a closing basis above 184.45 in March for the GLD, the Spider Gold Trust, would be really positive. Look at the silver. Silver is a different chart altogether. That's silver itself. But look at the SLV. SLV has a trend line. That's the silver trust, iShares, has a trend line. You can see from there all the way to there. But look what we, we've got. We've got it in the nicely notated on a shorter term in the weekly chart. And that just says the whole 2280 area to 2301 is going to be strong resistance. But so far, it's, it's acting, the silver chart is acting quite nicely, actually a little bit better, just a tiny bit better than the silver contract itself, even though it's related to the silver contract. Let's look at high-grade copper. High-grade copper is, wow, what a strong move. Oh, is this telling us about the economies around the world? This is a very nice move. Leg E in the daily chart, gone above the left side, right side price time match on the left side, continuous contract back in December or January, up just under four. And here it is a 401. And just two days, three days ago, I was saying, ah, oh, it's got to get to 396, 3.96, 4.01. Here it is. Very good. So that's a new leg C in the weekly chart. And that is a good sign. Uh, let's just look at SCCO, uh, which goes together. Look, oh, big breakout to the upside, up 5.9261. This is Southern Copper. This is very good. And that's the reason why when I look at, let me just go to this for a moment, and this is what I'll be discussing. When I go to just one, I won't go to them both. I'll just go right here. So the chart I've got now just automatically is on Bitcoin. Look at the way Bitcoin has gone to the previous high. Uh, I'm talking chart patterns. That's the reason why I've grabbed this, because I want to go to the black background <clears throat> for the uh, chart we were looking at a moment ago. And so this is at 73,790 was the high on the continuous contract of Bitcoin back in November of 2021. <clears throat> now remember, there was that big move up that was, I remember, it was right there. That was in April of 2021. It went to uh, 65,923. Comes back down, goes to a higher high. Now, this is going to be very interesting. You see the way the price is way above the green nine period moving average. So that's very overbought. Overbought can stay overbought for a while. But it does say that at some point the elastic band stretches and it comes back quite sharply. Where does it come back to? At this point, all we can say is that the price right now of the nine period moving average is at 58,270. So I, I don't want to say it's going to come back there. I'm just going to say this is overstretched and it's going to come, be coming back. Now, we were looking at this particular chart right here. This is SSCO, which is Southern Copper. Now, let's go to SSCO right here. SS, SCCO, Southern Copper. And you can see it's gone. This is a very bouncy. Look at this. It goes green, then it goes pink for a little while. Green, pink, green, pink. Now it's green, getting a little bit extended, just like it has before. But that doesn't mean to say it has to pull back or even has to pull back sharp. It just says rubber bands getting stretched, straining at 92.61. But I wanted to show you that the importance, this, this is a weekly chart. We were looking at the weekly chart. Let's just go to the daily chart and you see something a little different. Look at this. Every time there's been either a gap to the upside and it's gone, extend, it extends above the green, it says that it's getting stretched and then this whole area of the green line becomes your key support level. And that's where you get a big test of what happens. So, so far, this is very good action. Let's go to the high-grade copper itself. High-grade copper, yeah, it's the same thing. Every time it gets extended, but it can stay that way for a while. So what do I have to do? I have to look at different trend lines. I have to look at support and resistance levels. But it's a really good sign overall in the market to see the um, – let me go back to this right here – to see copper is moving higher. That's really what my point was. That I, 
I needed to see the fours, and today we got the fours. And it's in a leg E in the daily chart, and it's in a leg C in the weekly chart. So that's still very positive. Monthly chart is a lousy looking chart, but it's improving. <laughs> okay. Um, now, I wanted to do this. It was really important that I get to it. Should I do it now? Um, yeah, I think in another five or ten minutes or so, we get the crude oil inventory report. And right now, don't tell me that cut off. Uh, let me know if I'm being heard. Um, is that a telephone call? Is there something happening here that I should know? Oh, I hate that when we're out there in limbo. I'm just going to quickly go over to my engineer. L, uh, is everything working fine? I'm hearing ringing. I'm hearing some different sounds that I shouldn't hear. Um, just text me if, if everything's working. Oh, is it working? Yeah, it is working. Okay, we've got a break coming up. Basil Chapman, Tank Dennis, Dow's up 132. SP's coming back a little bit, down five. And then we'll talk about the uh, semiconductors as soon as I return. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, hey folks. So um, a, a couple of questions. Let me just do this right away because I need to just show you the TLT. The TLT right now is trading <clears throat> down 40 cents at 94.48. Uh, this is going to be important to, in the sense that I'm looking at the overall picture right now, and it's very selective on the upside in in all the different sectors. Just a, at a quick glance of the way I was looking at it, <clears throat> and when I look at the uh, TBT, it's trying to get to the 33.58 200 period moving average. Um, that's going to be important because if it gets above that. That's going to say yields, and this basically is the yield. It's the ultra short even 20 year treasury bond ETF. It means the yields are going to go higher. If I look at the dollar, DXY, yeah, look, the dollar is trading down seven ticks. I think the dollar is kind of struggling. It's making lower lows and lower highs. Uh, it's making an arch formation in the weekly chart. So anything can happen there. If you look at the EUR USD, this is the euro dollar currency pair, <clears throat> holding quite nicely looking like it wants to get to a leg D, and that'll be at the 1.099, which is the 200-period moving average. Uh, that'll be the area to monitor. And if you look at the USDJPY, this is the euro-dollar currency pair. So this is the, the US-dollar-Japanese yen uh, currency pair. It's like the dollar is trying to rally, but it made a peak C1, C2 double tops, actually, C1, C2, C3. That's equivalent to a D. And that says, mm -hmm. I've got a sell signal like the Dow, which is upgraded to a sell mode on the daily, not the weekly yet. So we're going to watch this very closely. Now, here's the, here's the big issue. So we want to go through a couple of things, that, a couple of stocks. Look, Microsoft trading in this rectangle, having made a 420.82 uh, all-time high with a channel wave two-bar reversal with the, with the next day, slightly lower, big red candle, then a gap down. It's now full that gap, and I drew this rectangle in to say, I think we're going to be kind of trading in this range for a while. I don't see a breakdown yet. When we do break down, we're going to the three, <clears throat> 396 area. That's something completely different. But right now at 413, it's more upside spikes. In fact, it actually went to a leg C right now. It's still a gray C. In other words, normally you get to a C, you're expecting a D in the Chapman Wave methodology. This one says it may be, but the magnet is still negative. Stochastic's only at 56%. On balance volumes are very weak. Nine period moving average did flip back to positive after a day of weakness. I don't know. I, um, I, I would love to see it go higher. I mean, we are long from the 338 level, but. I wanted this as a trading vehicle, and I was testing to see if there was one more dip to the 400 to see if that's where you can go in the rectangle spike to the 413, 415 area. Um, today it spiked to 418, now it's trading at 413. Look at this Apple. <laughs> Don't type it, they type it here. So I see residual strength right now, and that residual strength su suggests that within the general market, until it dissipates, until we get a real sign, we've got weakness in the semiconductors today. That's just a heads up to say, well, watch out, something's going on there. Hasn't You haven't seen that in a while where the market isn't being led by the semiconductors. The upside, so maybe that's a hint. But you've got Apple, which is very weak. It had 169 round number low just uh, five sessions ago. It got up to the 173 level. Not bad, 170, yeah, threes. Announced at 171. It's struggling. It's already struggling. Looking at Amazon, Amazon is trading right now up um, 1.58 to 176.98. There's that same rectangle, just getting sideways, using up some time. How it uses is going to be very important because it is a leg D in the weekly chart. But the technicals <clears throat> are starting to weaken in Amazon's 914 on the daily chart, but it hasn't broken down yet. So you've got to consider that there's residual strength. Looking at uh, Netflix and FLX, uh, let me see, I, just, I forgot to look at something. There we go. Yeah, Netflix is trading at 613.40, up 2.32. Had a round number high the other day. Um, and here it is, had made a peak C, or not an all-time high, that was 700.99. Just by one penny a round number. 
for the high of November of 2021 and it plummeted down to 162. I would say going from 700 to 162 is a problem. And then what does it do? It comes in the big rectangle fa phase with a lopsided uh, cup formation. It's in leg D underneath the previous peak D that was the top, but it's still showing some strength and the nine is still climbing above the 14 and in the daily and the weekly chart. So this is still holding very well. Uh, let's see, let's go to Goog. Goog. There we go. Google is trading up $1.64 at 141.25. I did not look at this for round numbers at the low. So we've got uh, nothing there, nothing there. Uh, I've got, no, 130, 155 was the low, and I didn't even see a round number. You see what I'm saying? It's so rare to get these round numbers. Um, now let's go to NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA is trading down. Now it's down 27 at 890.66. Tom, we got stopped out of our short position, our aggressive small short position, right on the tick. A smallish loss because we had already taken a nice profit from that. Um, and now we're out of it and the ass rallying. Ugh. That's upsetting. It's okay. 974 was a round number, all-time high. Just uh, four sessions ago, it had a bunch of round numbers. Did it have any round number today? I don't think it did. Not yet, anyway. Uh, nothing that I can see. Uh, that's and really, Look at this. Uh, let's go to uh, TSM. This is TSM is uh, Taiwan Semiconductor at 158.40 high four sessions ago. Um, we're looking at no round numbers there. Uh, let's go to that. No, no, no. Interesting. No round numbers, but it's off that 158.40 high. It's at 142 right now. Let's go to one or two others. AVGO, Broadcom. Oh, I'll never get used to that. AVGO had a 1418.17 all time high. It had a whole bunch of round numbers, even the little bounce off that, that uh, dreaded H top. Peak A at 114.13.00, and then it had a whole slew of round numbers. Nothing today, interestingly enough. Once it gets the momentum going, you won't see the round numbers. So it's way off the most recent. If this, if uh, Broadcom trades under 12.41, all these round numbers are going to mean something. And I, in my webinar on Friday, I'm going to have a, on Tuesday, I'm going to be discussing them in the relationship of. What does it mean and how you can use it? That's the most important thing. There's not much point in talking about all these things if you aren't able to actually have a modus operandi. So we'll get there. Okay, now I just wanted to see were there any questions here. Yes. Yeah, there's a question. Let me lean over here. Uh, JP Morgan. JP Morgan. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. So I'm very really pleased. With you. Thank you for reminding me about JP Morgan. So JP Morgan is an all time hot. The G slash C, especially if there's an instant restart, look how many peak Ds there are. Unbelievable. This, this technique that I developed uh, 50 years ago, 40 years ago. The Shadow Wave instant restart. He goes to another time mode. <clears throat> now it's at leg D. All time high. I'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So in my webinar coming, I will talk about things like the rectangle formation. Look at this rectangle formation in the one minute E-mini. This is the ESM, this is the June contract. And look at the five minute where the, the 200 period moving average, let's get rid of this fib, fib number right here. Uh, there's a sine wave up and down, and it keeps coming back to this 200 period moving average. But wait a minute, the 200 period moving average in the 10 minute chart hasn't been hit for since it broke above it at nine o'clock. Was it yesterday morning? Was that yesterday the 12th? Yes, look at this. And now we've come back. Of course, it's a rising trend line. So here we are. It, just bounced off it and it keeps and it could keep coming back to that level of uh, 5228. Uh, that'll be the number to watch if there's weakness. All right, so I just need you to go through that and I want to return here. So JP Morgan, all time high, fabulous action. Now, one of the things I'm looking at here is in this whole rotational aspect, what I'm looking at for coming up in the next uh, couple of months, going into the summer, our oh, summer, some people might have sort of summer already. And if you're down in uh, South Africa, you've already, this is, you're almost going to wrap up the summer. You're going into winter very soon. Okay, 191.20 is the price right now of JP Morgan. But look at the XLF. The XLF has been steadily walking the nine period moving average in the weekly chart. Isn't that an amazing thing? Just one indicator. And, and here it is in the monthly chart, leg B, underneath the previous 41.70 all time high of January of 2022. This is the SP Select financial spider fund so there's your g the g stash team invariably goes to a d and there it is there's your d that's where you've got to be a little careful it doesn't mean to say oh my god everything that's where i start to say all right watch it closely um so the question came up about what was it um jp morgan and and bank of america Bank of America trading up, uh, oh, it's up 30 cents at 36.26. Yeah, this is also very nice walking the nine period moving average right there. Nine's way over the 40. MACD is good. Unbalanced volume is overbought, but good. Stochastic is flat at 90%. Now, I'm going to spend some time talking about in the, in the webinar durations where the nine period moving average is at 90% or better and holding flat. What what do you look for to say, whoops, if it's going from one, the pendulum swings from one side to the other, 
what would take it down to 20% or less? And what would happen? And how do you use it if one indicator that near term does that, but the um, intermediate term, that's the weekly chart, is still holding very strong. So that's going to be very, oh, I should uh, should have mentioned, we are long uh, for um, right from there in Bank of America. That's way back in 2023. Um, so that's it. So questions have come up that I'd like to answer um, specifically. So FXI, if I could look at the FXI, and that is the <clears throat> Large Cap China ETF. Now, this is really important. 20.87 was the low in October of 2022. It ran to the 33 area. Then it came down and where did it go to? It went one penny below in the monthly chart. It went to 20.86. So that's a trough F. Um, now, what are the chances that you've taken out the left side low and that you're going to break sharply above to go to at least halfway into the monthly chart. That is above the 14 period moving average, which is at 26.09. And right now you're at 24.82 of 26 cents. Well, you have to go one step at a time. So this is the monthly. This is the big picture. In the smaller picture, the, the intermediate term, the weekly, you're in a leg B. And the nine period moving average, because it's come down so far, so long, now, this is the way I'm going to discuss the, uh, some of the techniques when, I, when we're doing our show live. I want to explain to you that the histogram, that's the distance in the MACD between the 26-period exponential moving average and the 9-period differential. When it goes from the 0% line, that's the 0%. This is a weekly chart. That's the 0% line. Look, it crossed positive. And now it is strongly positive. What is that? What does that mean? It means that it starts to shrink as the nine green nine period moving average differential. That's uh, it's a, com a combination, uh, multiplication of moving averages. And what happens is when it goes, it narrows. That's very positive, even though it's still a pink nine period moving average. When the zero percent line crosses <clears throat> positive. That's when you can start to see that there's a much better chance that the move down, in this case with the XLF from the week of the 18th of August up in the 27s, down to the low that was made at 20.86, that it's taken all that time to decline and then have the nine period moving average get close. It hasn't yet gone there in the FXI. But it's really close to turning up. And this is a very strong leg B. We've seen that before. And we saw it when the stochastic had already made a really nice turn to the upside. The MACD had this very move, strong move up and then gave it all up. So will it do that again? That's going to be a question that you have to deal with in the shorter term. That's the daily chart because the daily chart needs the weekly. The weekly needs the monthly. 120-minute chart needs the daily. So this cut, this cut formation right now, is this a brand new A or is it an old, is this an old E going to an F or is this an A, gray A, because it, 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 it hasn't gone over 80% and a gray B, F slash B. So that's always a question in the channel wave methodology, but you don't have to really think about it, overthink about it, it'll sort itself out usually within two bars. Um, so what I tend to do is I have the overlapping wave. I put in the A right there because I have to notate every trough and peak of importance. And then I put in an F slash B. And then I have to uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down. And then I have to do an analysis and say, well, on a vertical alignment, this is much stronger with the MACD good, the nine period over the 14. Stochastic's still lagging at 70%. Um, and the and what's really important about this is that you've got the confirmation that the weekly chart is moving higher. So my, my leaning right now is to say, if I had to put a preference, I'd probably put B slash F. But I don't have to do anything here because the 200 period moving average is at 25.29. So that it hasn't even been close. And the reason why I'm spending a little time on this is because it's important that you finally have China and the Nikkei 
the J J Japanese market kind of moving in sync because you remember I had this, I'll do this for one second. The world, this is, sorry, the VT, that's the Vanguard total return is almost at all time highs or at, as, as we're speaking within pennies of all time highs. So you want to see the general consensus, the NG, sorry, NK, NK, there it is. You want to see something happening here after a really strong move up. Well, it's done the move. So now is FXI playing catch up. That's really the story. So as I'm, and the question was, what about the FXI? My answer is, this is really higher highs and higher lows means that you're in a bull phase in the daily chart. The weekly phase needs quite a bit of work, but the 200 p moving average, which it hasn't been in forever, uh, to, well, not forever, but for a really long time, 25.29, if 24.82, if we can get to 24.97, bing, 25.29 will become a magnet. You're going to be watching that. So, yes. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors everything in the universe is governed by the fibonacci sequence this mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market to stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of sign up for the fibonacci 24 7 newsletter at tfnn.com when you subscribe you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. 
Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So, uh, being a little cautious now, does that mean we're not going along? No, not at all. I mean, yesterday we, we bought a position uh, at about Fourteen dollars. I waited for, waited, waited for it at fourteen point seven seven. Today it's trading at four fifteen sixty right now. Day is young, but that's. I'm not afraid to be going wrong. It depends on the sector. So I'm beginning to become much more cautious in terms of what I see as upside potential. This, that there seems to be a cap. Not that there can't be high prices, but there's kind of a cap. But I'm, I'm thinking we're becoming a lot more vulnerable to some selling, and that's why we also are taking short positions. <clears throat> that's the way it stands. Don't forget, let me just do this one more time if I can find it. On, uh, I can't find it. So on, <laughs> I'll find it. No one. Uh, so on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, we'll be doing a, a webinar. Uh, this is really what's coming up in the next few months. What indicators can really work? And I want to show patterns. I want to go over them very thoroughly. Blank chart. And we'll start putting notations, putting all these different trend lines, etc. Those are tools that I want you to be able to use. So have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay tuned for Steve Rose and all the great programming. Check out the front page of TFNN. You can see my webinar.